we're back with some more Wuthering Waves. I have a little friend here also um, who's going to be partially in the frame. So in the previous episode, we kind of went to this city hall place and talked to the magistrate's like assistant or some bodyguard of hers because the magistrate is not here. So, so we're going to go visit my girlies who are waiting for me outside to see what's going on with them. Hey, girlies. Rover. Hey, it's me. It took you so long. What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? She wasn't there, guys. You won't believe it. Oh. So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. Nope. <clears throat> um, why the long face, Yang Yang? <laughs> it sure is. Jisya, the increasing tacit fields. And camely powerful tacit discords. And now, our magistrate's absence. Plus, the mysterious rover. Hey. I'm afraid. Um, Jizo uh, might be in danger? Well, we've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. We've done everything we can. I mean, this is one long. And we're talking about Jinjo of all places. Jinjo. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. Oh my god, these people are squaring up on each other in the background. What is going on? Old men versus children. 1v1s. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equal the Legion, invulnerable in fight. Well, do you have any oh. plans, Rover? Um, that's a th three day vacation in my books. Fair point? A three day vacation it is. Let's go chill out then. We'll figure out the tokens when we have the chance. If that's real life, that's what I would say. <gasps> Ooh, reminds me of the tokens of love in those stories. It sounds like you're off to a secret date or something. What is our magistrate planning to do with these token puzzles? Maybe she's looking for a soulmate. A soulmate? So, Madam Magistrate left some hidden clues oh, yeah. in the tokens. Clues that only the right person would be able to decipher. But Rover has lost all memories and would likely forget any kind of decryption method they agreed on. <sighs> it doesn't quite make sense. Or maybe... She is trying to make Rover notice something else. I'm sure I'll still be able to figure it out, even if I don't have memories. I feel like I would still be able to. I don't Rover, know. do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? Here you go. So, what's so special about them? Um, take the candy. A oh. candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called sugar pearls. But I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. It's only one, like it's such a tiny serving. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. Eat it, girly, we have one. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But what does it mean as a token? Small device. Mm. Uh. It seems like... A miniature sundial. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. That's what I thought immediately. Mm -hmm. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. Mm. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These North, are the south, four east, and west. These are the famous beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the teal long represents the east. The white tiger stands for the west. The vermilion bird stands for the south. And finally, we have the black tortoise for the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how can it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention... The lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. Here's a leaf. The color of this leaf seems a bit odd. 
can't tell what tree it is. Uh, a purple one. I think I can feel something from it. Oh. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. That's a little sussy, Baka. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. Maybe it's this tree that's right behind us. Black fruit. This is a mangosteen fruit. Mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They totally made They're that fruit up. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years. But still... Okay. So Jizya and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? It honestly doesn't ring a bell, if I'm being honest. I've never seen it before until we just saw it just now. When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. Let's go ask around. I guess. That's what they want me to do. Okay. Yeah, why are these people, like, ready to square up? Oh, here's a side quest, I think. This fucking kid. Um, oh wait! I need- this is what I'm literally doing! Derp, have you seen this candy before? Oh. After a tense moment of silence, the little girl seems to have finally made up her mind about a great sacrifice. She offered you her hand, revealing a small piece of candy. Uh, I- I don't have candy like that. Ew, <laughs> what is this voice acting? But I got this. It's really good. You, um, you can have one. Is she talking to me or this other kid? Uh, thank you, but why? Madam Magistrate said we should be nice to every guest. Oh, you just do whatever the Magistrate tells you, huh? Okay, we got a candy. She hopes you enjoy a sweet time in G- Oh, I already forgot how to say it. Jinjo? Jinjo? Uh, arigato gozaimasu. Oh, here's a flower I can pick up. Should I just, like, explore this area? Because I feel like that's just what I always want to do when I play these kind of games. I guess that's something I can do when I'm offlining, you know? But look at these flowers! I'm gonna forget if I don't do it now. I have to reach a suitable place to use grapple. The fuck is that? It wants me to go over here, though, so I guess we should go over here. So, yeah, that's what we're doing, guys. Whenever I play types of games like this where you can swap out your character, I feel like I just, like, like playing as the default character. Because, like, this is literally me, bro. Like, I don't want to walk around as another character. I just want to be me. Like, this is me, bro. Let me be me. I'm Cody, bro. Cody's me, bro. Let me be me. Did I even pick that up? There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Oh my gosh, okay, we're going to the Academy Yang now? Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. I don't know how to open the phone. Oh, are they doing it for me? Assistant modules installed in your terminal made for different circumstances during your exploration. T to use grapple. Ah. T. Oh. Oh my god, it's like the, um, the, uh, the, 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 oh, shit. Oh, I figured out something. Oh. Okay. See? I don't think I did that right, so. See? Just open the utilities, select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. Uh, didn't I just do that? Where am I? Where am I going? I think I went the wrong way. Okay, I'm in this little city. Hey guys, here's a kid. Do I still need to talk to the children? Sister King... King He? Is really amazing, don't you think? Girl, I don't know who that is. Are you here to see Sister... Oh god, I... Oh, guys... King He? She's getting more and more popular, I knew it. Uh, who? Oh, this lady. Um, no. Fuck that bitch. Okay, storyteller. Joy goes up for storytellers. I paid money to go see that. That's embarrassing. Okay. I don't remember. So T. Oh. Oh, I can still grapple? Oh my god, look at me running so fast. Oh my goodness, look. Oh, wow. I'm so good at this game. Oh my goodness, there's another one right there. Oh. Oh, we're at the academy? Oh my gosh. I did that perfectly. Not really, but who cares? 
some more of these pearl leaves. Okay, I'm here at the exact spot oh, you want me to be. Someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry. It's all right. I'll be right there. She's ditching me? Duty calls. Oops. Almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover Yin Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. Oh. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. What is Ma Zhao Fang? Stop! Stop! Don't call me that. Oh, that's her name? Anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. We don't need you to babysit us, sure. okay? Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. Him? <laughs> she just misgendered me. Over. Let's go inside. Oh my god, does that mean the boy character is like the the canon accurate one? They didn't even try and say sh say her. Oh, I'm going this way. What is this thing? Synthesizer. Oh my god, I'm never gonna understand any of this shit. Oh my god, oh no. I didn't even understand Genshin Impact. There's no way I'm gonna understand this game. Anyway. Okay, let's go. The only time I would ever play as a the boy character in a game like this is if I wanted to like pretend like I had a harem but I think it's kind of fun to be like a girl and have a harem of girls though so because I feel like in games like this there's always like way more female characters than male characters at least with Genshin Impact and that's my only experience with games like this well I guess I kind of played Honkai Star Rail like a few times the girl characters are always cuntier anyway okay we're here she's probably busy in her lab is this a man <laughs> Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. Take back be what I said. He might help us get in touch with Baiju, but um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. How is this a bad time? They're just standing here. Oh my god, men. Right after I said it was all women in this game. Anyway, let's try it. Fucking Walmart D. Luke over here. <laughs> what? You need something? Uh, we're here for by Zai. Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are Baiju. friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. He was just standing there. What were we bothering? Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Oh yeah, go, go tell her, you little servant boy. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation. Just who on earth is this super important guest? Oh, they're talking about this me. This is Mortify, a renowned oh, figure in the Department of Safety. She's talking over again. Oh. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. I People don't care. Say he's a bit scary at first glance. But he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me he's quite popular with the kids. Children have been pestering him for all kinds of fancy toys. And he's always open to their requests. Now why is he hanging out with a bunch of kids? That's a little sus. Look at me though, I slay. Work, dust off your little thing. Okay. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Oh, we're doing that. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? Nope. Oh. Oh, the tokens. <laughs> I forgot we did that. That was like two seconds ago. What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the Sugar Pearl, but I need to verify it first. Maybe it's just a sweet possible, treat she gave us. I recommend us. conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Um, that's a straightforward solution. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies-related branches. Tacitite? That's the field Mortif specializes in, isn't it? Yes. Mortify is the branch of Mortify. Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. It's gonna take me, like, at least ten episodes to learn these people's names, guys. Give Ugh. me the items to be tested. 
Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You Go away. You retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. I don't get why the dialogue always gets cut off in this game. Um, show them all the tokens. I don't see anything special with these items. Speaking of the sugar pearl, you all remember eating sugar pearls like this when you were kids? Well, I don't think I've ever had anything like this in my childhood. I don't even remember this either. I heard you weren't raised in Huang Long. No, I'm from the New Federation. You mean the sugar pearl might be unique to Huang Long? Um, I believe so. Who's talking? Me? I remember a nurse lady giving me a candy like that. She said that already. So, sugar pearls like this were distributed at hospitals, perhaps. The sugar pearl might be a type of medicine. Its sweet taste would have made it more palatable to children. Miss Baija, as a Huang Long local working at the academy, I suppose you already had an idea about what it is? I do have my theory as to what it is, but it still needs verification. I wouldn't proclaim any solid answers before confirming the chemical composition of this item with reliable data. Oh my god, blah blah blah, big word, science, shut up. Seconded. Let's find out through actual testing then. Seconded. <laughs> Shall we wait here at the academy? Over. Um, we'll take a quick look around here then. I guess we have to sure wait. you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. She, she is obsessed with looking at my body and examining me. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I need to I, I need to look around a bit. Like we're not doing my body checkup yet. Me and Yang Yang need to look around. Like leave me alone. Wow, this guy's cool. Shut up. Okay, I guess I'll just. I mean, might as well just do it. It's what the. It's what it wants me to do. So. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Okay, I, I guess. Wait, one moment please, can I ask about? Do you have any questions before we begin? Have you ever come across other similar cases? Apart from the ancient legend Yang Yang mentioned earlier, I've never heard of anything like this. But if we look at it another way, we might finally be able to verify said legend. Once we figure out what really happened with your body. Dope. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Okay. Can you try Ikaza. to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Oh, gosh. <laughs> try your best. <laughs> what? Oh. Sorry, it seems I can't do that. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? <laughs> it's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. Um, what kind of impact will it have on me? I can't say without sufficient data. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. Ooh, there's a monster inside me. Oh my gosh. Sounds like a cool terrarium idea. I use that as a metaphor to express my speculation. If such a thing existed within you, scientists would be eagerly seeking to understand it. There are so many mysteries about you worth exploring. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Oh. Why are we doing the inspection right here? Oh. Am I the only one to see the monster of the Don't come? worry. Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. Oh, shit. I gotta remember all the controls. I haven't played in a few days. Let's do it, guys. Uh. Nani? Okay, oh shit. I wasn't ready. I wasn't fucking ready. Wait, how do I- what am I- Oh, I have a wolf power? Since when? Shit. We killed- we killed one. 
one with the sound. Oh my god, I'm a fucking furry. I sense your weakness. One more. I think I'm not doing that good. Hmm. As Yotan had previously detected, oh. your bodily functions are in good condition. And you seem entirely unaffected by the crownless's energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. Um Strike from the shadow. Let me be your blade. I mean, now I'm playing as a different girl, so... Not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. Oh, I can play as this girl. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. I want to see what her resonance ability is. Acceptable damage. I can... Oh shit, she's almost dead. Oh my god, she's almost dead. Shit, I gotta switch Let out. Me be your blade. Let the winds roar. Okay, well, we don't get to see it. How do I heal in this game, bro? Can I heal? Like, no one told me how to do shit. Inhaler? Oh, it's trial mode. Am I supposed to die? Because what the hell? Swift and resolute. Oh, shit. One with the sound. Okay, one more. Jesus Christ. The end has come. We have gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Oh no. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? Oh no. My trap is dead. Something's wrong. Got to be cautious. Now, where is the exit? That's me talking. What the hell? There's purple glitchy stuff everywhere. I can't get out. She's fucking trapped me here. I'm back to the same spot again. And Why am I talking? Moon. Oh. What is happening? I just noticed the giant moon. It's my mommy, my my celestial mommy. She's coming back for me, maybe. <gasps> oh. Are those tacit discords. I'm gonna have to fight this thing, huh? Oh no. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, mommy. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'll work. Skinny legend. Mother. Literally, mother. Rover. Rover. Oh my god, what? <sighs> Thank goodness! You're awake, Baijin. What happened just now? The connection was suddenly cut off. Was that in my head? That was all happening in my mind? Rover. Oh my god, boobs! Do you still remember what you saw? Yeah, I saw mother. Literally mother. It's like that movie Mama. Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. It might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonoro Sphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonoro Spheres. Okay. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I'll pretend like I'm following along. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, 
all the data look quite good. Well, that's great to hear. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. I'll consider it. I'm too good for you, lady. Just kidding. Anyway. Okay, convene. New function unlocked. Through convene, you can get reliant companions and handy weapons. Is this how I do wishing? F3? Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna remember that key number. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. I have 41? Dang. It wants me to do it now? I wanna wait. Do I have to do it now? Man, I guess I have to. This is... Oh, I don't. I'm gonna do a separate video later of just doing that, so... Cool. Okay guys, we're gonna stop here for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm probably gonna try and do the banner wishing with convene. Maybe if I get more of the wish thingies, cause I had 41. I'm assuming that's not that many. If you can do it by 10, then it's only four. So maybe if I get more, we can do that later. So yeah, or we'll do it soon, who knows? Doesn't really matter. But thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Say bye to no face.